You got a minute? Oh! What's Hi there guys, this is Richard, your host, with another marvelous video. This time, 12 mind-blowing 2022 movie sequels you didn't know were coming. Sequels of successful films are pure money spinners, as it presents a minimum risk to the investor with maximum gains, and in terms of commercial uncertainty, these films are dependable. Despite the ongoing pandemic, Hollywood did manage to run their productions and complete films. However, with the cinematic world getting upended, 2021 was one year where many sequels got delayed. Some were fast follow-ups, while some were long, just dating sequels. The year did give some great sequels like Spider-Man No Way Home and Venom 2, Let There Be Carnage, but most of them got delayed for which 2022 will be a year of some blockbuster sequels. From Tom Cruise's Top Gun Maverick to Marvel's Doctor Strange 2, Multiverse of Madness, we are all packing our bags for the year-long adventure ride in the cinematic world. So, without further delay, let's find 12 mind-blowing sequels that are to be released in 2022. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. Mission Impossible 7, September 30th, 2022. Ethan Hunt's narrative is not yet over. Mission Impossible 7 is now done with their production, and it will take Hunt and his kick-ass squad on yet another world-saving mission. Christopher McQuarrie, who directed and wrote the previous two Mission Impossible films, composed the soundtrack for the new film, which was directed and written by Lorne Balfe. The forthcoming picture, starring Tom Cruise as the unrivaled international spy Ethan Hunt, is going to test the boundaries of all the new and returning characters. Mission accomplished! Mission Impossible 7 hasn't been disclosed much, but what we do know hints at an enormous action plot that seems like a fitting addition to the blockbuster franchise. Continue listening for all of the information that's been disclosed thus far, including release dates, actors, characters, production details, and more. Mission Impossible 7 is set to hit cinemas in the United States on September 30th, 2022. The movie will also be distributed for streaming on Paramount 45 days following its theatrical premiere. The film was supposed to be released on July 23, 2021. Following delays due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the date was pushed forward to November 19, then to May 27, 2022, and eventually to the present date. Hopefully, Mission Impossible 7 will not face any further delays. The Mission Impossible 7 trailer has yet to be released. The film's development has been plagued by setbacks and it is still in the works. As a result, we're doubtful to see any genuine footage from the film until the film's release date approaches. Even though most of the new cast members in Mission Impossible 7 have yet to be announced, we do know that Hayley Atwell will portray Grace. Grace is a destructive force of nature, according to Christopher McQuarrie. We don't know anything much about Grace, although Atwell has described her allegiances as rather murky. Insidious 5 The Insidious franchise has returned after a four-year hiatus, and 2022 appears to be the year she emerges. You just can't stop a good ghoul. While the Insidious style of campy and spooky isn't for everyone, I can't get enough of the gothic freak show that this series has served out outing after outing. The fact that it immediately became a Lin Shay's vehicle piqued my curiosity, even though the quality has fallen significantly over time. The Lambert family appears to be back in business with the upcoming Insidious chapter. While just a few cast members have been finalized for the eagerly acclaimed sequel, there is still no news on whether Lin Shay will make her very important comeback. While chatting with Coming Soon, the icon and Angel did say a few words about the subject. It was a really beautiful arc for me to find as the character and in the storyline, Lin further said. Now it's in my memory and I would love it if there was another one. I'm good with whatever. If we come back, I'm in the further this time, so that will be different.
In terms of confirmed casting, Patrick Wilson and Ty Simpkins have both signed on to reprise their roles as Josh and his son Dalton Lambert. We learned in 2020 that longtime James Wan colleague Patrick Wilson has agreed to helm and appear in the forthcoming Insidious film. Patrick Wilson will be directing for the first time. Wilson, on the other hand, knows a thing or two about this fan favorite franchise, having appeared in the previous two films. Wilson revealed the tale and how it would feature Dalton's reappearance more than a decade later in an interview with GameSpot in October 2020. Although there is no word on when we will be able to see Elise and her friend's next creepy adventure, there has been some type of assurance from Daddy Blum himself. Blumhouse's Big Cheese told Digital Spy that the new Insidious chapter will be released sometime in 2022. Hey Sully, how's it feel to betray your own race? Avatar 2, December 16th, 2022. Avatar 2, popularly known as James Cameron's Avatar, is an upcoming epic science fiction film directed by James Cameron and produced by 20th Century Fox. It is the sequel to James Cameron's Avatar film franchise after Avatar 2009. Avatar 2 is the first of four planned sequels to the 2009 film Avatar, and it is set to hit theaters in December 2022. The film has been in the works since 2010, and pre-production was completed in 2017. The majority of the motion capture and primary filming was expected to be completed by early 2020. The movie is now under post-production. Cameron said in a statement to THR, We will not back off the throttle of Avatar's visual and emotional horsepower in the second and third films, which will be self-contained stories that also fulfill a larger story arc and will continue to explore its themes and characters which touch the hearts of audiences worldwide. I'm looking forward to returning to Pandora, a region where our imaginations may run wild. According to John Landau, humans will return in the sequel and the waterways of Pandora will be explored in Avatar 2. The release dates for not only Avatar 2 but all of the sequels were determined, with the first film arriving in 2020 and seeming like it would stay. However, another delay was reported when Disney published its first release schedule following the Fox acquisition. Avatar 2 will now be released on December 17, 2021. Avatar 2 has no official title other than Avatar 2. A set of proposed subtitles that appeared to give the next film the title Avatar The Way of Water was leaked. Later, James Cameron acknowledged that the leaked titles were prospective film titles, although he stated that nothing had been agreed on yet. Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, December 16th, 2022. In 2018, James Wan surprised everyone by creating an all-around entertaining Aquaman. The sixth entry in the DC Extended Universe was a thrilling change of pace for the franchise, starring a very charismatic Jason Momoa as the eponymous King of Atlantis. In addition to defying forecasts, Aquaman outperformed at the box office, generating over $1 billion and became the highest-grossing DC Comics picture to date. So it comes as no surprise that a sequel is in the works. Aquaman 2 is just around the corner, and DC Comics and Warner Brothers are definitely aiming to strike lightning again, with several important stars returning for more. Here's all we know about Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom from the DC Extended Universe. The title is Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, as you can see. This term generally alludes to Atlantis's undersea kingdom. Of all, Atlantis was prominent in the first Aquaman film, so it's difficult to determine what the title relates to this time. Warner Brothers has yet to disclose narrative details, but Abdul Mateen's is a strong clue. Still, we have some ideas about where Aquaman 2 will pick up following the first picture, which was a lot of fun. One indicated in an interview with Total Film that the narrative will be heavily influenced by the 1960s classic horror film Planet of the Vampires. With the new picture, he also teases a return to his horror roots. The behind-the-scenes look at Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom was revealed by director James Wan and actor Jason Momoa at DC Fandome. They also dropped some indications regarding the plot. Black Manta is still attempting to wreak vengeance on Aquaman. Orm has returned. Wan stated that the sequel will be more mature while still being entertaining. He also mentioned that it's a world-traveling film full of imagination and magic. We can't wait much longer. Going too fast. It's a matter of opinion. Indiana Jones 5, 
the director of the forthcoming Indiana Jones 5 starring Harrison Ford, James Mangold, has confirmed that production is only a few weeks away. Indiana Jones 5 director James Mangold admits that the sequel is virtually finished production. Indiana Jones 5, which is likely to be renamed in the future, will recast Harrison Ford in the lead role. Ford has played Indiana Jones since 1981's Raiders of the Lost Ark, which is considered a masterpiece. Antonio Banderas, Mads Mikkelsen, Phoebe Waller-Bridge and Toby Jones join him. However, actors from earlier editions such as Karen Allen's Marion Ravenwood, who wedded Jones at the end of 2008's Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, have not been guaranteed. The narrative of Indiana Jones 5 is a well-kept secret, while there is conjecture that the movie may star a de-aged Ford, who is presently 79 years old. Indiana Jones 5 will also be the first chapter not directed by Steven Spielberg, who directed the previous four films. Somebody's gonna get hurt! Mangold, on the other hand, was asked to step in based on his established track record of success, having directed films such as Ford v Ferrari, Walk the Line and Logan. Indiana Jones 5 has been shooting since June and has been plagued by setbacks, including Ford's shoulder ailment. Aside from that, COVID-19, suspected screenplay revisions and the demise of a crew member have all hampered the film's progress. The sequel was in the works for years before production began, and it took years for the cameras to roll. So, while the process hasn't been perfect, the actors and crew must be overjoyed to be reaching the end. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, Part 1, October 7th, 2022. Into the Spider-Verse was released in theaters in late 2018 and proved to be not just an outstanding animated feature, but also one of the best superhero films ever created. Miles Morales, Spidey, joined up with a slew of different Spider-People to preserve the multiverse from evil in this thrilling adventure. Phil Lord and Christopher Miller wrote and produced the film, which masterfully blended comedy, thrills, action, and genuine drama. Furthermore, the brilliantly innovative animation successfully represented the excitement of reading comic books as a child, and the film was rewarded with amazing reviews, a massive box office, and the Oscar for Best Animated Movie. I like your suit. Thanks. I made it myself. The Spider-Verse sequel was officially confirmed in November 2019 with a release date of April 2022. While the release date has been pushed back, the picture is still expected to enter theaters this year and it will now be two films. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse Part 1 will be released in theaters on October the 7th. Joaquin Dos Santos, Kemp Powers and Justin K. Thompson direct the film. Dos Santos's prior credits include Voltron Legendary Defender and Avatar The Last Airbender. Powers co-wrote the renowned movie One Night in Miami and co-directed Pixar Soul, while Thompson's animation accomplishments include the Emoji Movie and Star Wars The Clone Wars. We don't know anything about the plot of the upcoming film yet. The film will center on Miles and Gwen's romance as they undertake an adventure throughout the multiverse with the new Spider-People squad. The official synopsis also mentions a strong new adversary, albeit no hint on who that is yet. In a recent conversation with Entertainment Weekly, Lord and Miller teased a few details about the series and explained why it would be published in two parts. Miles' story is amazing, they declared. We scripted what we believed the plot needed to be, and to our astonishment, it turned out to be two movies rather than one. We're working on both of these right now. Part 2 will be released in 2023. In 2024, we shall slumber once more. The duo also announced that the film would have the same distinct and elegant appearance as its predecessor. Your reputation precedes you. I have to admit, I wasn't expecting an invitation back. They're called orders. Top Gun Maverick, May 27th, 2022. The wait is almost over after more than 35 years since the original masterpiece and nearly three years of being put back. Top Gun fans have been waiting for a sequel for 35 years, and it appears that the wait is finally over. Top Gun Maverick, which was shot in 2018 and was initially scheduled for a summer 2019 release, has been moved to summer 2020 to allow production to sort out all the intricate flying scenes, according to Deadline. Then the globe erupted, with a worldwide epidemic forcing Paramount Pictures to reschedule the film's debut numerous times in 2020 and 2021 to prevent movie theater closures and maximize possible crowds. Lovers of this epic will not have to wait a lot longer to see their favorite pilots return on the big screen, since the film will be released this year. Given that the original film had a devoted fan base and was one of the largest 
largest films of the 1980s, we may expect the new picture to be one of the year's major cinematic events. Captain Pete Maverick Mitchell, a flying instructor noted for his daring maneuvers and pirouettes in the air, will be reprised by Tom Cruise. The sequel will also see the return of Val Kilmer as Tom Iceman Kazansky, and it appears that Cruise was enthusiastic about having the actor repeat his role. Jerry Bruckheimer, the film's producer, stated, We must have Val, and we must have him back. We have to include him in the film says the director, Bruckheimer elucidates. And he was the motivator. We all wanted him, but Tom was emphatic that if he was going to remake Top Gun, Val had to be in it. You can be my wingman any time. Bullshit. You can be mine. Yeah! The official narrative of Top Gun Maverick is obviously being kept a mystery until the film's release, but we can make some educated predictions based on promotional teasers and trailers. Maverick will be mentoring the next era of Navy aviators in the film, but things will become complex when he's assigned to prepare a crew for a special high-risk mission. We may even see fresh versions of our favorite sequences, as images from the set of the film show Tom Cruise and Jennifer Connelly reproducing the iconic motorbike scene from the original film. Maverick may be a new teacher with a new love interest, but he's essentially the same guy he's always been, pushing boundaries and loving it. No, I would not. Touch her. She knew you were right. Thor, Love and Thunder, July 8th, 2022. Thor, Love and Thunder is one of the classic Avengers fourth solo MCU films. Though Marvel continues to produce new superheroes to its MCU roster, fans will be rewarded with a new film starring one of the core Avengers Chris Hemsworth's Thor in Thor Love and Thunder in 2022. Thor will star in his fourth solo Marvel film. Thor Love and Thunder is part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe's Phase 4, which began in 2021. Thor Love and Thunder is set to be released on July 8th, smack dab in the middle of the summer extravaganza season. While Thor Love and Thunder was always supposed to be one of the big movies of summer 2022, July 8th was not always the day it was scheduled for. Disney revealed scheduling revisions for many Marvel films in October 2021, including relocating Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness from its original March 2022 release date to May 6th, which was the original date for Thor Love and Thunder. The most significant fact about Thor Love and Thunder's release date is that it will have an exclusive run in cinemas for at least 45 days before going digital or streaming. As the Marvel Cinematic Universe expands, the ensemble of Thor Love and Thunder will include an intriguing mix of new and fan-favorite characters, but first and foremost, Chris Hemsworth will reprise his role as Thor. Since 2011, Hemsworth has played the God of Thunder, starring in seven MCU films, spanning three solo films and all four Avenger films. Thor Love and Thunder does not yet have an official narrative, according to Marvel. Thor Love and Thunder, on the other hand, is thought to be influenced by the Mighty Thor comic book, which originally saw Jane Foster take on the mantle of Thor. John Wick, Chapter 4, May 27th, 2022. Of course, Keanu Reeves will reprise his role in the fourth film. Lawrence Fishburne is too. At the end of the third film, the Bowery King formed an alliance with Wick. They'll be a dangerous foe for the high table if they band together. They will not spare Ian McShane either. In addition, he is repeating his role as Winston. Lance Reddick, who will reprise his role as the Continental Sharon, is also returning. There will also be several newbies to the franchise in the flight. Among them is the famous Donnie Yen. The Rogue One actor will play John Wick's longtime acquaintance. They have a lengthy history together, as well as many common foes. Yen appears to be another dangerous assassin. Bill Skarsgård, who played Pennywise in the It film, is also joining the murderous series. He'll appear in a number of sequences alongside another new Wickverse member, Clancy Brown. Mr. Krabs' voice previously told Collider that the two have a lot of moments together and that his purpose is to expose more about the power of the high tech. Table. Hiroyuki Sanada is also having a good time. The 60-year-old Japanese actor will star with Keanu Reeves in the newest Wick film. Sanada is well known for his roles in Mortal Kombat and Zack Snyder's Army of the Dead. He's also starred in notable comic book films such as Avengers Endgame and The Wolverine. His cinematic acting career, however, extends back to the 1960s and includes work with Japanese filmmakers such as Masahiro Makino, Teruo Ishii, Kinji Fukasaku, and others. Rina Sawayama of Japanese 
British recording artist is also in the cast. She will be making her feature picture debut. Shamir Anderson, widely known for his role on Winona Earp, has also joined the ranks of the Hidden Assassins. Lionsgate has delayed the film's release date back from May 2022 to March 24th, 2023. That's not what the supporters expected to hear, but at the very least, we got the news through a great teaser. too bad. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog 2, April 8, 2022. Sonic returns with his pal Tails in this sequel to the unexpected Sonic the Hedgehog film from 2020. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 is one of the most anticipated films for early 2022. After the popularity of the first film, the studio behind Sonic the Hedgehog moved quickly to have Sonic the Hedgehog 2 ready to launch. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 will be released in theaters worldwide on April 8th, 2022, just over two years after Sonic the Hedgehog debuted on February 14th, 2020. Sonic has returned, and he has a few new friends slash enemies to hang out with. On December the 9th, the first Sonic the Hedgehog 2 trailer was published. It features Sonic's first encounters with Tails and Knuckles, as well as the reappearance of Jim Carrey's Dr. Robotnik. Papa's got a brand new stash. The plot says Sonic is determined to prove he has everything it takes to be a real hero after relocating to Green Hills. Dr. Robotnik returns, this time accompanied by a new accomplice, Knuckles, in quest of an emerald with the potential to destroy civilizations. Sonic partners up with his own sidekick, Tails, and embarks on a globe-trotting quest to recover the emerald before it falls into the hands of the wrong people. Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore, April 15th. The Fantastic Beasts saga has become a welcome addition to the wizarding realm for Potterheads all around the world. With the next film, Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore, that universe is expanding even further. Fantastic Beasts 3 is the third film in the series and a sequel to 2018's Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. It's directed by David Yates and written by J.K. Rowling and Steve Cloves. Eddie Redmayne will reprise his role as Newt Scamander in the film with a perilous new task. The Fantastic Beasts trilogy serves as a precursor to the Harry Potter films and is inspired by J.K. Rowling's Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, a companion book to her hugely famous Harry Potter novels. The series delves into the history of the Wizarding World featuring many notable characters. The latest installment shifts the action to the 1930s, with war looming for both the Muggle and Magical societies. We haven't seen any teasers or trailers for Fantastic Beasts 3, but we expect to see some promotional snippets as the release date approaches. Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore is planned to hit theaters on April 15th, 2022 in the United States. The film will be released a little early in the United Kingdom on April 8th, 2022. For those who prefer to view movies at home, the film will also be available on HBO Max 45 days following its theatrical debut. The threequel was supposed to come out on November 12th, 2021. However, owing to casting changes and the COVID-19 pandemic, the debut date was initially moved out to July 15th, 2022, and then shifted up to the current date. There will be at least two more films in the franchise. Rowling revealed in 2016 that the Fantastic Beasts series will consist of five films, so there's certainly more for enthusiasts to look forward to after this movie. Of course, we're not aware of what those films will be about yet, but be guaranteed that we'll see a lot more Newt Scamander even after Fantastic Beasts 3. Jurassic World. Jurassic World Dominion, June 10th, 2022. When Jurassic World 3 hits theaters in June, it's expected to be one of the year's biggest blockbusters. The threequel, officially titled Jurassic World Dominion, has been completed and will be released in June 2022. Universal has already published a prologue as a preview for the main event, so all we have to do now is wait for the first complete trailer. Jurassic World Dominion will be released in theaters on June 10th, 2022, following a year-long delay from its planned June 2021 one release date. As previously stated, writer-director Colin Trevorrow has announced that the threequel is finished ahead of its theatrical debut, so we can only keep our fingers crossed and pray that there's not another delay. Shooting began in February 2020 and was halted in March, but the picture was the first blockbuster to resume production in the UK in July, and it was completed in November 2020. Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard will reprise their roles as Owen Grady and Claire Deering, respectively. After the dinosaurs fled into the real world at the 
conclusion of Fallen Kingdom, Trevorrow has confirmed that when we see Owen again in the third film, he will still be attempting to save them. Following the thrilling cliffhanger of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, in which dinosaurs were released into the real world, the 2019 short film Battle at Big Rock foreshadowed the new world order that we'll see in the third feature. As per Trevorrow, the third picture Dominion is set in 2022, three years after this short film. Everything has always been very much present day in my head, he added. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks, everyone. Where are my manners? Sonic, meet Knuckles.